All right, this is a bit different. We're looking at atheist memes today. So meme time. I've kind of debated in the back of my head of doing some videos responding to memes. I usually feel like it's not worth it. <laughs> but today, uh, because my Women in Ministry series is going to take even more time to continue prepping for the very next one, and I don't want to rush anything. I want to prepare it well and thoughtfully and have it there as like a lasting and worthwhile contribution to the to the debate and the topic. Um, so I'm going to take my time with it. And that means that today we're going into atheist memes. And this is going to be a shorter video than normal for an, a Monday or any live stream for that matter. But we'll just get right into it. This is meme number one. Meme number one. And um, let me make sure that you can see the counter on the screen there. There you go. The numero uno, as they say in, um, in the local pizza joint called numero uno near my house. So this meme says, let me in. Jesus, Jesus and for those listening on podcast, right? Jesus is, is in this meme. He's standing at the door of a house and he's knocking to get in. And um, he says, you know, let me in. And um, wait, here, just hold on. I know you guys want to see Mika. So <laughs> she's, she's not making it easy for the camera to get her. But there she is. Yeah. Uh-huh. She was acting a little wild. Uh, at any rate, Jesus is standing knocking at the door. He says, let me in. And the person inside the house says, Why? Jesus responds, so I can save you. And then the person in the house says, from what? Jesus responds, from what I'm going to do to you if you don't let me in. Uh, this is to me a... Um, this is what I'll call a reframing tool, right? Where you where you take the same sort of basic idea that, that's within, within Christianity about the very gospel itself, about how Jesus is like trying to save us, and then, you're, and then you reframe it in a way that misrepresents key facts, this is the important part, because reframing is not necessarily bad. You can reframe in a way that informs and gives better understanding of a topic, helps us helps us go deeper in, into knowing it and understanding it from a new perspective. But new perspectives aren't always right perspectives. Sometimes they're distorted perspectives. They're myopic perspectives. They're perspectives that have missing facts. In this case, it's a missing fact perspective. Perspective. And those who know the gospel, who are Christians, understand very well why this is really not in any way a response to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In no fashion is this representing accurate Christianity. Like, I don't have to defend this meme because this meme does not represent Christianity. So Jesus is not standing at the door knocking in the sense of someone who just wants in your house. That's not the, that's not the framing that's proper for a biblical gospel. The biblical gospel would be that Jesus is knocking in the sense of, here's the right framing, one who um, has been sinned against and is the righteous judge and has come to make peace with us before judgment comes. So there's elements of truth here, but it's those, those missing pieces that make this meme successful. So this, this one was sent in, by the way, by uh, a guy named uh, Jimmy Jam on Twitter. And you guys can send me some stuff on Twitter. I, I was trying to think of where you could send me memes if there's ones that you think I might want to respond to in the future. And I, I can't promise I will, but I may. But you might want to make me aware of them to consider. Twitter's a convenient place for me to do that. You might find other ways to send them to me, but um, it's not my full-time thing to respond to silly memes. So we're missing elements of judgment. Uh, Jesus is, is, is here just basically a bully in this picture who's like, hi, for no reason whatsoever, I'm threatening to hurt you. Or you can let me in to, con to control or to be part of your family. Otherwise, I'm going to harm you. So he's kind of like some weird stalker character. Uh, but in reality, in the gospel, of course, the message is that mankind has sinned against God in grievous and serious ways, right? And judgment, because God is holy and just, it's more like there's a criminal in the house and the judge himself comes and he says to the criminal, I will pay your debt. I will pay your debt if you accept my invitation. Otherwise, you'll have to pay your own debt. In this case, it's a wholly different situation. So this is another one of the many, 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 many times. This is what happens 90% of the time I'm talking to um, people who are bringing accusations against Christianity. I have to say, yeah, I don't defend the thing you want me to defend because I don't believe the thing you claim that I believe. This is just a reframing in a way that is a distorted fashion instead of clear.